entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Okay guys, for today I prepared a uh, Jiao Jiao I prepared uh, something very useful and the thing is it's all, fi all finished uh, guns from level uh, from part 12 to part 16 the five new uh, mechanic tasks um, to hand over and I will explain uh, what do you need to keep an eye on and how to how to, uh, to assemble uh, the guns okay let's make a better view So the part 12 is uh, AK-102 uh, The sad part about that uh, task is uh, the 102 you can buy only at uh, level 4 mechanic or you can uh, find it somewhere in the raids uh, but there are slim chances as you can see, I'm level 38, so I don't have access to level 4 mechanic. But I managed to acquire this gun uh, with all the things on top. Uh, the tricky part is the Rotor 43 silencer uh, for uh, 7.62. Also, you need a Magpul FGOD tactical grip. Uh, it's a four grip. Uh, it's green. I'll show it to you. This is the gun that you need to hand over. And uh, this is the FGOD. <clears throat> you will get access to this thingy to buy this green one only when you finish the quest or the task so before that either find someone that uh, finished the task so he can buy it for you or uh, find it in the raids but uh, they're really common uh, on the shoreline so it needs to be the OD the dark green one you also need a uh, a 2U black tactical flashlight. You can find them also or buy them uh, at some point. But uh, yeah, I find uh, quite a few of uh, those during the raids. So the tricky part is the the Rotor 43 5.56 uh, times 45 muzzle brake for the for the thing uh, this muzzle brake the silencer is um, oh, sorry it's a sound suppressor uh, you can find them uh, in a factory on the um, in the uh, safe corridor uh, that shelf it spawns there sometimes uh, some random spots but uh, with not high chance of spawn and sometimes from the scav boss uh, if he using this gun so yeah you need this baby so if you just started to play uh, make a note to keep this thing if you find it in your stash uh, you cannot buy this uh, silencer okay let's ho hand over this baby uh, let's just uh, double check what are the requirements so it 
has it has to have a uh, the rotor silencer check the Macpool F G O D tactical grip check Zenith 2U flashlight check ergonomics over 45 recoil less than uh, 420 effective range 500 500 meters or more and make sure it doesn't take up more than eight cells in your uh, inventory so eight cells Let's make. Uh, let's take a look here. It's forty-five point uh, ninety-eight ergonomics, which is great. Sight range five hundred meters, and recoil of four hundred and fifteen, and it should be less than four twenty. So we are good. This is a uh, needed gun. Hand over. Oh wait, the reward for this quest is uh, 1700 uh, XP, uh, 0 0.05 plus uh, reputation toward mechanic, 700 rubles, the Remington model uh, shotgun, and you unlocking the ability to buy the Magpul FG Grip OD the green one that you actually need for this quest. Okay, part 12 complete. The part 13. Is uh, SIG MPX. It needs to have the annihilator flash hider, the stainer LS Tac 2 tactical flashlight, the effective range of 300 meters, ergonomics above 49, and weight less than 3.75 kilograms, and the recoil should be less than 180. The reward is 2200s XP. 0.05 reputation 500 dollars you get the this uh, vp-09 uh, muzzle brake uh, for 556 time 45 and you get unlocked the skeletonized ar-15 pistol grip okay let's check the gun itself The tricky part until you unlock this is to find the skeletonized uh, pistol grip. Uh, but it's very common uh, in my experience on the shoreline. I found uh, quite a few uh, before even got to this quest. The annihilator muzzle grip, a uh, muzzle break. I think you can buy it on level 3 mechanic. Let's check that together. I have le uh, level 3 mechanic, yeah it's here, it doesn't need some specific task for unlocking. So what's next, is there anything else, uh, the LS Tac 2 flashlight, I think it's also Searchable at the uh, at mechanic level three. The last light. No, I'm wrong. Maybe. Let's check skier. I have skier level four. It's not skier. Maybe the peacekeeper. I also have level 4 Peacekeeper. I think you actually need to find this flashlight.
okay let's hand over if we met the requirements but yeah i think we did so then mpx is ready to go task complete part 14 it's a akms it's a AKM, akm h in the game but it's russian it's a typo so let's see what do we need for this uh it requests to have a moe edition akmn it's uh like the it's akmn i'm sorry the age is russian n uh, it needs to be totally um, in moe style the handguard the stock and the pistol grip need to be moe all in black that's like the must so technically the moe stocks that you can uh, buy from uh, skiered not working so you need to buy the only one from the peacekeeper which is uh, pitch black uh, the ones that you buy at the skier they're um, they're other colors the only one you have like a uh, gray or dark gray but uh, it will not work additionally uh, the rotor 43 muzzle brake uh, it's the same like uh, the one for the 102 but uh, it's for the caliber 7.62 uh, which this gun is so yeah that thing you can also buy at the same places uh, uh find on the same places like the factory uh safe uh hallway on the shelf uh randomly in the raids and on the scav boss or scav, uh, scav boss minions uh they can use this on their guns uh recoil lower than 280 ergonomics above 36 and weight of 4.6 kilograms or less with accuracy range 500 yeah with this task you will unlock ls uh last tech 2 flashlight which you needed for the previous task that was my bad so you have to find it or find the person that uh, actually have that uh, flashlight unlocked at the at the mechanic so he can uh, acquire that for you. The reward is 23k XP and uh, 0.05 uh, mechanic loyalties, 100k rubles, and uh, EOTech Voodoo 1-6 rifle scope. It's a very good scope, by the way. It's a new scope uh, from 0.9 patch. Uh, I used it uh, mostly on SA58, and it's amazing. It's uh, it have uh, times one and times uh, four if I don't uh, mistaken of magnification. Very good, very good. So let's check the gun. So all in black. It's MOE stock black with a RPB, RBP, a rubber pad. Uh, it's black so you need to take uh, buy it from the peacekeeper or find it in the raids uh, the MOE handguard black the FGM lock tactical grip black also and of course the rotor 43 7.62 times 39 muzzle brake so you need to find this item in the raids it's not buyable purchable but whatsoever uh ergonomics 36 53 side range 500 recoil uh recoil of uh 278 and that's effective range 400 meters Let's hand over the, the task and move on. Task complete. Okay, the part 15 and part 16 are tricky ones. The part 15, uh, you will need M1A with specific setup. So, 
you need a, a Ultimac M8 mount, which is not... Uh, you, you cannot uh, buy that from any trader, you need to find it, it's a rare item. Uh, the Night Force 735x56 uh, scope, uh, it's a level 4 mechanic. The uh, only way to acquire it is from level 4 mechanic or as a reward from a task from... Uh, I think it's a skier. I'm not sure, but that one you should use for the... Uh, the in between part uh, 1 and part 11, like the old tasks, uh, for the uh, uh, DVL quest. So this one you either buy of the player that have unlocked the, the level 4, or have like su be super lucky and find it in the, in the raids. You need a T1 reflex sight on it. Uh, it's a T1 from the Peacekeeper. Uh, it's a reflex sight, I will show it to you. The Hollow Sun tactical device. Uh, and uh, a, cup, a cup for the scope. I'm not sure about that. The ergonomics above... Um, the ergonomics above 26, recoil below 270, and total weight of 7.2 kilograms or less. So let's check the gun itself. Okay, you need the Archangel uh, base of the gun. Uh, the NF 34 millimeter millimeters mount. Uh, the 34 millimeters mount uh, for the Night Force scope which uh multi-mount rail the multi-mount rail let's move this thing is th this thing on top uh so you can put the the t1 reflex site on top of it uh the next thing is uh utg4 uh, mount uh to be put it on top of the rail so you can fit the uh, the NF-34 mount, it's like double mount thingy, it's a rail on top the the gun, so you can put the mount on, uh, it's, uh, it, it can be acquired at a level 3 mechanic. Uh, the Ultimac M, M8 upper part, it's, it's the... Uh, it's a dovetail, dovetail, yeah I guess, it's the name. The short name in the in the section of the, the trade section of the level three mechanic. The short name is UTG, I guess. The Ultimac M8 upper part. So you, that's the tricky one. You need to find that. The JP MB uh, Enterprises Tactical Compensator. The LS321 flashlight. And that's pretty much it. It will fit the requirements. Let's check on a mechanic for that UTG. Uh, there it is, M14 UTG4 point locking deluxe mount. So you need this baby to put on top the rail that you find, the M, uh, M8. And uh, you will be able to put the 34 millimeters uh, mount for the scope with that uh, additional uh, small mount for the T1 reflex site that you will acquire from the uh, the peacekeeper I think it's a peacekeeper free I'm not sure let's check the free uh, no maybe it's a four no 
maybe it's even two. T1. Oh yeah, it's level 1 Peacekeeper. It's aim point micro T1 reflex sight. Uh, the only thing that you need for it is aim point mount for the sight of uh, micro series. Uh, short AK uh, AMM, short name. So it's like a just a flat thing that you put on top the the rail, and you attach the the micro uh, reflex sight on it. Okay, let's hand over the the M1. It looks pretty cool though. So the reward is 25k uh, XP, uh, 0 0.05 mechanic loyalty points, 700 euros, and you get the uh, Springfield Armory M1A uh, as a reward for completing the task. Gunsmith Part 16, which is the last one of the the new task series. You need the uh, M4A1 with the specific setup so what do we need here the thing that we need is uh, do, 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 do. the wall of text so it needs to have the NT4 FDE silencer uh, that's the, the, the tan uh, tan colored one like the brown between brown and uh, green uh, I'm not sure can you buy it anymore at the um, uh, At the peacekeeper uh, you can buy just the dark gray uh, I think you need to find that in the raids. I'm not hundred percent sure we will check that uh, uh, shortly uh, You need uh, the tricky part is the mk10 handguard uh, I think you can buy it at level 4 uh, mechanic and if you can't uh, you need to find it in the raids. Uh, for that handguard there is a tricky thing that you can actually buy at the mechanic 4. Uh, it's, a, it's a rail, it's a MK10 10, 10 inch rail that goes under the handguard. So you can attach the Q, uh, Q, uh, the foregrip, uh, which is also a Bible at uh, level four, uh, level four uh, mechanic. The thermal scope and 60 round magazine. Ergonomics should be less than 53. The recoil less than two, uh, 220, and the weight 4.85 kilograms or less. The reward for the task is 35k XP, 0.06 loyalty toward mechanic, 2.5k uh, euros, and you get uh, a Colt M4A1 assault rifle uh, as a reward. Let's check the gun. Theoretically, the the fastest way to acquire this is to buy the that space trooper M4 with the with the scope and uh, this uh, CQR uh, foregrip uh, from the mechanic for the four bitcoins. It's a bit pricey, uh, but it will uh, save you a lot of time if you're grinding the the shoreline for the bitcoins. I was lucky to find the actual um, thermal scope on the shoreline in the random uh, loot on the ground. But um, yeah, there are like multiple ways to finish this. So the tricky part is this uh, handguard, and you need the rail for it, the special rail. It's um, uh, RT 
Artemis or not Artemis, it's Alexander. Alexander Arms, uh, a 10, a 10 inch rail. Uh, it's only purchasable at uh, mechanic level 4. Uh, it can only fit on this uh, handguard uh, because the other rails uh, cannot. You need the Grawl uh, S for the pistol grip and uh, Fab Defense GL Shock stock on it. Also, you need uh, uh, the, uh, the new uh, charging handle, the Raptor, for the AR-15s. It's uh, purchasable at uh, mechanic level 3. Uh, what else? NT4 FF, uh, FDE silencer, uh, which I mentioned. It's a green one, tan one, or however. And that's pretty much it. You need a 60 rounder. Uh, you can trade the uh, two circuit boards at the Peacekeeper to acquire this uh, 60 rounder. Flat one. And that should be it. Let's check the Peacekeeper. I have Peacekeeper level 4. If he sells the... No, he, he doesn't sell the 10 ones anymore. Just the uh, QDSS NT4 Black silencer. So you need to find uh, the silencer in your raids. And let's finish the task hand over and that should be the end of the the mechanic mechanic tasks so it's a a bunch of xp you see i'm a level 39 now i was like missing like 60 or 50k xp to reach level 39 uh, now I'm there, so I need like a half a level, 74k to be level 40 now. I have uh, like three more tasks, I think at the Ragman, yeah, I need to reach uh, a Charisma level 10, I'm 9 now, it's a uh, 13k XP sales night to extract one more time of 20 which is pain in the ass to be honest from the interchange you get 24k uh, XP for that and these fuel conditioners which I really didn't have luck to find uh, you need to hand over uh, six of them total I found just two uh, but I think it's a dead-end quest so it it doesn't stop you to, to like uh, go further with the tasks. It, it's one of the new tasks for the Ragman. The best w uh, place to find these are the the duffel bags and uh, some uh, uh, generator areas uh, in the interchange. I don't recall where I where I found uh, these two fuel conditioners. I think the one was on the dead scab at the woods, the one by the uh, by the um, uh, lake, and one at the shoreline in some random duffel bag. That's it. Okay, do I have uh, yeah 